at the mouth of the forest. You take one last look at the setting sun. The song of migrating birds get caught in the wind and scatter across a lush plain behind you. From your perspective, you see the last warm rays of the diving sun filtered through the fluttering and moving leaves on the tree stems. Cool shadows and yellow light mingle on the ground. A tapestry of changing patterns. Flickering and shifting like a kaleidoscope. As you look into the forest, in the hopes of getting across the forest before midnight, you venture forth with your backpack on your shoulder. It is cold outside. The forest has a chill to it because there is no sunshine that can reach the forest floor. The cold leaves you with a chill, but it's quite soothing after a long and hard walk up the hill. This caressing chill through your warmed body is refreshing. Within the trees, a melody of birds echoes all around you. You notice that within the forest, this melody of birds is different from the one outside. There is a wider variety of tones mixing together most majestically like a complex orchestra playing a work of classical music. As you walk, twigs and dried leaves crumple under your feet and the soft mud leaves a footprint of your passage through the forest. After going along a little distance, getting closer to the forest heart, you luckily stumble upon a clearing surrounded by leaning trees. It looks as if these trees are spectators of a gorgeous sight. There is a bed of mesmerizing flowers etched in the metal of the clearing. The bending trees look as if they long to reach these flowers, sniff them and experience their lovely fragrance that casts a spell upon the senses. You stop at this point of your adventure, thinking that passing by the flower bed without paying your respects would be a shame. So you drop your backpack and approach the cluster of flowers. By the time twilight has cast a black sheet over the heavens. The moon peeks through the wandering clouds and the stars vanish away. All your sense of loneliness, soft and buttery moonlight piercing the delicate clouds and seeps into the clearing, washing the flower bed in the milky luminescence of the moon. 
The gorgeousness of the sight is beyond anything that language or any artistic representation can capture. Adding to the beauty, yellow light emanating from a swarm of fireflies. It reminds you of the flickering light of the stars above, the similarity between amazing stars that blaze and rage millions of light years away and humble little insects here on this pale blue dot called Earth amazes you. The mixture of moonlight and yellow lamps carried by the fireflies paint the entire scene with a shade of tranquility. It appears as if this miniature city of flowers resides within the forest heart, with the fireflies being its residence. As you lay there, you find it hard to resist the temptation of this place, the grandeur and beauty. Although you are on an adventure and you need to keep moving, You look closely at the spread of faded colors illuminated by the lights, the very beautiful petals that are within this flower bed, yellow, orange, pink. Stretching your hand forward, you slide your fingers over the petals. Their surfaces are pleasing to the touch, like a velvet cloth fused with fragrance. This flower bed scent is amazing. It's uplifting to your spirits. It's like a festival of sight, smell, and touch. Your heart yearns to abandon your quest and simply set up camp in this clearing then wait for the break of dawn and observe the flowers in the daylight as it would be drenched in the morning dew. In fact, the mesmerizing ambience makes you want to spend your remaining existence in this patch alone in this forest. As you remember why you are here and what lies ahead, you are looking for the fabled enchanted garden, which is the object of your endeavors. The reason for you to go on this adventure and abandon your home was your quest.
insomnia has plagued you and tortured you for so long. It has ripped and torn apart your peace of mind for what now seems like eons, but no more. You will be soon rid of the dark and festering evil, for you have found the solution to your sleepless nights. Your journey began after all the medical science that failed you, sleeping pills and therapy did not give you the splendid sleep you desired. So achingly, helpless and on the verge of despair, you began dabbling into mythical lore. At your friend's suggestion, at first, your studies were just casual glances at the surface of this vast body of knowledge. But very soon, your studies turn into great research and obsessing, longing for the garden most magnificent. The legends say that sleep comes blissfully and easily to the most restless and battered souls. To your poor and tired body and mind, the possibilities of an enchanted garden exist was like the promise of Philosopher's Stone, the elixir of life, the assurance of paradise. It was like the Sandman has befriended you with the guarantee of casting spells of undisturbed sleep visited by the most beautiful dreams. In the pursuit of this magical garden, you have walked the earth for a long time now your aching heart has taken you to snow engulfed mountains with frosty winds jabbing your cheeks. You have traveled the dangerous swamps, lived in shady towns where the shadows hide the most heartless monsters. But through it all, and against all odds, you have survived. Your urge for soothing dreams have kept you going through this hard time. Now at last, your destination draws closer. If your knowledge of the lore is correct, then you will be inching closer to your quest conclusion since the garden is just beyond this forest. With these thoughts bubbling and simmering in your mind, a new thought takes hold of your body and mind. You snap back into reality Fixate your mind on the task at hand, but your heart can't help feeling a small sense of loss after a long and refreshing sleep in that magical garden. 
you assure yourself that you will return to this bed of flowers for another more extended visit. Then, mustering all the willpower at your disposal, you push on towards your goal. Beyond the clearing is a narrow, unpaved road. This road meanders through the forest like a river etched into the valley, flanked by trees. This road stretches through the woods and ends at the entrance of the garden. Every now and then, a lonely leaf glides onto the unpaved road as if it were a bubble on the water surface much like a bubble popping after a brief existence. The wandering leaf is carried away by a soft breeze, only to join the indistinguishable mass of leaves matting the floor's floor. A little further, another dazzling sight welcomes you as a distraction from your quest. Through the brambles and trunks, a pod containing species of luminescent fish greets your eyes to the far right of the road. Again, giving into temptation. You make your way for a brief visit, standing on the edge of the pond. You see a fluttering of blue lights that illuminate the swimming fishes. The coolness of the blue reminds you of the sky with this brilliant shade Of all the colors you have seen so far, this one is unique in its nature. Drenched and filtered by the water, the blue glow seems like it is embedded in the pond. As you hear a hooting owl, as it makes noise above you, perched on a tree branch, its large and unblinking eyes gaze at the pond. It flutters its wings. The barn owl swooshes down and away. As you stare, you find this little detail to be lovely as well. As you stand in awe at the edge of the pond, you hear footsteps coming from the darkness beyond the opposite edge. Twigs snap as these footsteps approach the area where the glowing pond is located. Although you know well enough that the forest is absent of all dangerous beasts, a sense of foreboding takes hold of you. You ominously take a few steps back. For a brief moment, 
you fear that your journey would be jeopardized just when you are so close to your destination. As you curse your decision to steer away from the road, you prepare to run away. But to your intense relief, a deer materializes out of the thick and pitch black darkness. Your pounding heart settles back into place, relaxed in peace. comes upon your body you observe the lovely creature that has joined you in viewing the glowing pond its antlers are perfectly symmetrical and his hide is furry and a beautiful shade of brown. Approaching the pond, it appears obvious to your presence at first. Then, it looks up from the water surface and comes face to face with you. Your eyes lock. You look back at the innocent and harmless deer, hoping that it will see your smile in the blue glow. Eventually it does and decides that you are no danger. Lowering its head and bending in front, Its legs drop majestically. It dips its mouth into the water and begins to drink from the pond. All the glowing fish in the area scatter away, beating their fins and tails. After consuming its fill, the deer turns and hops out the pond area in its elegant gallop. Once again, you gather your thoughts and focus on the deep and splendid slumber that awaits you, walking to the unpaved road. You continue with your stroll At last, you see the exit to the woods, much like the entrance, the way out is shaped like a mouth. As you are happy to see the exit, your pace quickens. The doorway to your quest begins and becomes more apparent and more prominent as you begin to sprint towards it. Your heart soars as if you see the first confirmation of all that was included in the myth. A lavish spread of violet flowers stretched from your feet of the forest and beyond. Running at top speed, the surrounding woods appears as a blur to you. Emerging out of the woods, you see a human sized flower head that is the gateway to the enchanted forest.
The walls are all thornless, vines with roses blooming from them, making your way to this door. You lean against the large petal by placing your forehead on it. The flower unfolds and opens, giving you permission to enter. If all the world's oceans were to become ink, even then, the grandeur, the beauty, and the garden's bliss could not be done justice. As you take off your clothes and cast away your backpack, there was another pond containing steaming and bubbling water. You step into this bath. It was like you were reborn. All the fatigue and tiredness left your bones. Every second was amazing, pleasures and relaxing. Then, at last, drowsiness most sublime comes over you. Your mind wants nothing but to embrace the sweet oblivion of sleep. As you enjoy this warm, bubbling water, it is now time for you to get out. You approach the soft bed of petals nearby. And lay on them. The petals cover you. And wrap around you like a soft warm blanket. As your body gets heavy and your thoughts slip away, you drift off to sleep and the petals that bring calmness and relaxation to your body.